Hey, my name is Fawn, and I'm an art teacher, and I want to show you how to draw a horse, hopefully. Uh, I've been teaching over 30 years, and I am recently learning to do videos. Learning is the key word. Um, Technology is not my strong point, but with all the way the world is now, I thought I would just challenge myself and do it anyway. <laughs> Learn as I go. So um, hopefully you'll like it. You'll uh, subscribe, share the link and all of that to help me out as I get started. And I'll have some links for you below for um, finding me in, on my website or um, things you might want to purchase, stuff like that. Also feel free to ask questions and uh, leave a comment, uh, anything like that. Okay, so here we go. I have started with a uh, light, light sketch of just overall proportions, and I'll show you how I got that. So if you measure the length of a head, that's your unit of measure, then you count. So one, two, three, and about a half. So his body is about three and a half head lengths. So one, two, three. I'm really a little bit short. So before I start, I will want to make sure I lengthen his body and bring his leg over further. So the little circles are just a place to help me find the joints later. It's a way to help me uh, line up where are the joints. Other little things that I've done here, uh, I've given myself a line so my legs don't end up way long or way short. So I'm just moving the body over a little. The other thing I want to do is check the belly. How fat is he? He's pretty big. He's a whole head length. So I'm not trying to make this exactly the size of that. So you don't want to measure the head and make your head exactly the same. You can see I'm enlarging it some. So I want my proportions to be correct to the head length that I'm drawing, not to here. So I'm a little bit skinny, so I will fatten him up some as I go. And uh, adjust. So I'm drawing very lightly so I can adjust easily. If you push too hard, you will uh, scar the paper, you'll leave little ghost lines later when you try to shade things in. You won't be able to get rid of them. So you don't want to draw dark until you're getting close to the end. And then uh, as you get close to the end, you pick up a darker pencil. So you'll want to get a drawing set with uh, a few different levels of B pencils, which are for bold, smudgy, dark lead for the end of a drawing. Um, so like the 4B is a little lighter than the 6B or the 8B. Uh, they get darker as the number goes up. And the H is in the same set are hard. The hard lead. Um, a 4H would be lighter than a 3H or a 2H. It gets, it's the opposite. It goes the opposite, <laughs> the opposite way. Okay, so I'm just getting right now overall proportions and making sure I have things kind of the right length. Uh, with a light pencil, I'm using a little a regular pencil so you can see it so it will show up. So if I were, um, I can't do two things at once, sorry. <laughs> if I were just starting this as my own drawing, I would be using an H pencil, but I want you to be able to see my lines, so I'm using a regular pencil. So what I want to measure next is how thick is the neck um, and how long is the neck. So his neck is a little shorter than a head length and a little smaller. So my head length is a little bigger than the image. So I'm not going to measure this head length to mine. I'm going to measure my head to mine. So my neck's a little skinny, but it's about the right length. So we'll thicken it up here and maybe a little here. I just want to get my proportions before I really get started drawing. I don't like this at all. It looks 
looks a little deformed there. That's better. Put his weight back under him. And I'm just noticing that line, the angle of it. And how does it set under the hoof? The hoof is under here. So bring it out a little further, a little bigger. Just double checking, double checking, double checking as I go. And again, I'm drawing lightly, so it's really easy to make those corrections and changes as I go. His head is turned slightly, so there'll be a little line there. I'm gonna erase this circle. That was just a guide, same here. These are just lines to help me find where things go when I first start. So I'm erasing a lot of these unwanted lines and leaving a few of them to help me with shadows where I see there's some shadows for later. Um, I'm going to put the eye, it will line up back of the ear, lines up down here, and it lines up this way. So the eye will fall somewhere right in here. Make a little circle, we'll leave a little white dot for now. Try not to make a human eye. Look at the picture and look how dark the eye is. Look at the angle of it. Which way does it sit? More of a triangular shape, I think, than it is a just a rounded shape. Little nostril. The mouth is usually lower than most people draw it. Trying to cut that. I'll zoom this in in just a sec. Right now, it's, again, I'm just looking for comparisons and uh, overall overall placement. Got to get another leg in there and the tail, but I think that's a good start. Give him a little uh, hip bone here. Little withers. The withers are way back here. There's a bone there above the shoulder, over there. So it's kind of the top. So that gives me a placement. And one mistake that people make quite a bit is they will make these legs the same length. Anything further away is gonna be a little bit smaller and so it cannot be on the same exact plane. So you find the bottom of this hoof and then you make this hoof a little higher. Same here, this joint would not be exactly the same, it would be a little higher. So here's my joint here. Now I can find where is the bottom of that hoof. The hoofs go at an angle, the front of the hoof is taller than the back. And so for now, that's a pretty good lay-in. Again, I'm just after a sloppy copy. I've got this hoof a little bit big. Um, some horses have huge hooves, that's okay. But I think it's more in the, uh, the length of it. There we go, that's better. Yeah. Okay, so I'm liking that a little better. I want to find this joint now here, like I did that one. I found this one back here. This one's going to be just a little lower. There's a nice big bone there. Can't see it on this image. You can see it here. Nice big triangular kind of a bone above that. And then this gets big here. And there's a nice muscle right here that I don't want to lose. And a little muscle there. Okay, I'm going to put his little sheath in there. This is a stud colt. He's about two years old. So when I was 12, I was learning to draw. And I wanted to draw a stallion. And my mother had a fit <laughs> when I put that in there. So if you don't want a, a stallion or a colt, you can leave that out and make it a mare. It's fine. It's your drawing. So I'm looking for this muscle, nice big muscle here. And how does that curve? Which way does it go? 
and uh, move it there. And this comes out a little here. Okay, so that's a pretty good start on that. Again, I'm drawing a little too dark because I want you to see what I'm doing. Um, when you're drawing, don't draw this dark until you get really happy with where you're at and you've made all your corrections and changes. Then you go back and darken up. And you don't darken by uh, pushing harder. You darken by going over and over and using a darker lead. So again, you don't put scars in the paper and uh, have indents and problems later with that. It's a nice big chest muscle there. Little muscle here. It's got a little bit of a line there. And the jaw is coming down further. Um, here's another mistake. A lot of people just make straight lines here. Just think about his head is curved, his neck curved. So just curve those lines a little as you put it in. And you can curve it either way. In this picture, it tends to look like it's curving this way. Uh, it's okay if you want to curve it the other way. You can make some hair going up, flying over. Shade that in. Back of the ear should probably not be that low. I'm looking for the front, the inside, which is dark, and then the back of the ear, which is not dark. So that's a little better. And you can add as much detail to that as you want, make it longer or shorter or whatever. Um, but just remember his head, his neck curves and the hair curves over it. Okay, I'm gonna lose my guidelines here. My nose is a little bit scrawny. It's gotta be a little bigger. Nostril there, a little shadow there. Uh, another thing that beginners often do is they make this all one length. This is quite large here, and this gets skinnier there. Little indent right in there, and I think the nostril again is still not quite right. I'm going to move it again. That's better. And I think I might have this a little too big. He's got a little white spot there. Put that in if you want. Shadow, shadow, shadow. All right, so we're missing some legs. <laughs> might be important to give him all his legs. I'm going back to the other reference. You can barely see it here, but I want to put it in there. And again, I don't want it the same length. Let me just show you how that would look. If this is the same length, there's just no way that can happen. He can't have his hooves on the same exact spot. One is a little further behind the other and a little smaller back because it's a little further away. So you have to adjust again, just like I did back here. Good, that's good, that's better. Okay, and the tail. Not liking this pointy butt. <laughs> That's got to go away. So when you're finishing your drawing, you'll go back and erase all these messy spots when you finish it up, clean it up. Um, if you're going to finish it like for an art contest or something, you'll want to make sure you, uh, you don't leave it messy. 
and you'll want to put it on a better paper. So like this would be my soft, sloppy copy, my practice, make all my mistakes and changes. Then I would trace it. It's okay to trace your own work. Um, it's okay to trace your own photographs and paint them and all that or print them out on a computer and all that. But if you want to learn to enlarge and freehand and really make it your own, uh, this, is, this is how I do it to uh, create my own originals, um, be able to enlarge things and freehand it and, and not uh, trace it. You don't want to trace other people's work and use other people's work. You get into copyright laws and problems with, with that and shows and all of that, you might get disqualified. So in the beginning, that's okay. Use other people's work if you need to, to learn and practice. But as you grow, and and you will, if you, if you keep with it, <laughs> then uh, you'll want to use your own photographs as much as possible. So, this hoof will turn out the other way a little bit. So you'll see more of the back of the hoof. So sometimes you see this little Y shape back here where the hoof is turned away, the back of it. Okay, so he has a nice strong bone that shows up here. So I'm gonna put that in. There's a nice shadow there. There's a nice shadow there. Again, inside, outside of the ear. There's a really cool shadow on his neck. Uh, if you can get that, that's great. If not, it's not a big deal. I'll get some of it in there. I'd rather get more detail on here. There's a shadow under there that to show up a little more shadow here on this muscle here on the legs Okay, so I'm kind of liking that. I feel like overall that's pretty good. And I'll take a darker pencil, maybe a 4B, and I'll put in some of these uh, smudgy places. Uh, I get dirty, I don't mind. Some people use a uh, blending stump or make their own with paper towels or napkins. Uh, but I, I like getting dirty, get my hands in there. So this leg would be darker because it's behind the other leg, so you don't see it as well. And again, I'm not pushing hard, I'm just darkening with this darker lead. Nice dark shadow there. Let things curve, let it look natural. Okay, so if you have an absolute disaster with the hooves, <laughs> which believe me, I have <laughs> done that plenty of times, you can put grass, but don't just do this. This is another mistake I see quite a bit. Um, the grass wouldn't just grow under the feet, <laughs> right? Right, so keep it going and put some grass in other places. Grasses closer are taller. Grasses further away are shorter. So give it a little depth if you want some depth in there. If you want a hill or something in the distance, that's fine too. Little, little things now, little details. But overall, I think he's pretty, he's pretty good. Pretty sound. Okay, nice shadow under here. 
Everything needs a shadow. Shadows and highlights make all the difference. And again, if you don't like your hooves, more grass. <laughs> I like to try to get them right first, and then if they don't work out, then I put more grass. But practice, practice, practice. That helps me get a get it in there better. So now I would just go back and start darkening things, um, look at my photo and compare it. And if you're going to sign it, which you should, uh, don't put a bunch of words and information. Keep it simple. Keep it in the picture. Don't put it on the edges and kind of small uh, because you don't want it to take away from the art. And uh, on the back, if you're going to write information, the year, date, whatever, your full name, uh, do it at the bottom in pencil. Don't do it across the image through. It might show through. It can Sometimes it can show through. And I could keep going and tweaking, but I hope you like it. Thank you for joining me. And again, hit the like button, share the link, whatever, and help me out. Have a great day.